Okay, so what we can do here is uh, make some wax paper. So we've got a candle here. Uh, obviously, you can use all sorts of candles. It doesn't have to be anything special. Um, and we're just rubbing that onto the paper. I've seen lots of ways of doing this on the internet. I've never tried any of them, but they all seem quite involved. And, well, certainly for what I use it for, this is uh, this is more than adequate. So we do that, and then we play the air gun over it. And you can see the wax go into the paper. And we do the same thing again. Just need to build up a nice quantity on there because uh, if, the, if the paper's not completely saturated with the wax, then obviously uh, the, the glue or whatever you're shielding from getting through to a surface can, can still get in there. So we do this again. Pretty much there, and what we'll do just to demonstrate this: it's a couple of uh, blocks of wood there. We'll take hot hide glue, put it on here, then we'll take a piece of wax paper on there, hot hide glue again on the top. Do this, squeeze them together, and that's it. Uh, here's one that I did a while back, and you'll see that it comes apart pretty well. Now obviously, when you're uh, doing violin repairs or bass or cello, guitar, furniture even, you can use this method just to shield the wood from any glue. I mean here we've gone well over the top with the glue and even so, it's, it's still all coming off. You know, in, in practice, You'd only be trying to protect anything that accidentally got in between the two uh, gluing surfaces or in between your blocks, your protection blocks. So, yeah, there we go. Wax paper.